Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted letting you know that if you are still running Windows 11 version 22H2, that Microsoft is starting to prepare version 22H2 for end of support. And that's because this month, February 2024, on the 27th, which will be next week, Tuesday, that will be the last optional bug fix C release update that Windows 11 version 22H2 will receive. And the end of support officially, according to Microsoft, for Windows 11 22H2 is the 8th of October this year, 2024. So after you receive your last optional update next week, if we head to the calendar to March, um, that means moving forward now until October, you will only receive the Patch Tuesday security updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month. Now, just to give you a quick heads up once again, because um, over on Microsoft's health dashboard page, they've now announced that they are automatically going to be updating um, Windows 11 version 21H2 and version 22H2. So in the case of version 21H2, um, which has already reached its end of uh, support, they are going to be basically force upgrading now version 23H2 onto those machines. And then version 22H2, um, if you are still running that version, they will start gradually as it nears its end of support towards the 8th of October. They will gradually start pushing out Windows 11 23H2, which is the current stable version and stable release to Windows 11 22H2 PCs. Now, as mentioned, this was over on their health dashboard page. And if we head to that announcement, uh, in the first paragraph, uh, here we can read that Microsoft says, Windows 11 version 23H2, also known as Windows 11 2023 update, is now entering a new rollout phase. We are starting to update eligible Windows 11 devices automatically to version 23H2. They say in this next paragraph, this automatic update targets Windows 11 devices that have reached or are approaching end of service. So that applies to Windows 11 21H2 and 22H2. And how this is all taking place, according to Microsoft, is it follows the machine learning based ML for short training um, that they have utilized so far. So there's a lot of phone in home here with these updates where they are now starting to basically force upgrade um, machines that have reached or are approaching end of servicing. They carry on to say that they will continue to train their intelligent ML model to safely roll out this new Windows version in phases to deliver what they are calling a smooth update experience. And that's according to this announcement over on the Microsoft and Windows Health dashboard page. Now, um, Microsoft does say, though, if you are at end of support already, like if you are running version 21H2 or are nearing support with version 22H2, um, if you head over to your Windows update page, and obviously if you check for updates, um, this should start pushing out version 23H2 to your device. I think if you are running, uh, still running 21H2 for whatever reason, I'm sure that your devices will start getting updated and force upgraded sooner than later. And as mentioned, they will start rolling out 23H2 to version 22H2 using a phase controlled approach, a staggered approach, as they say, as it reaches its end of support on the 8th of October this year 2024 and that's all taking place as they are calling because this is all based on their machine learning training which they say will um, basically assist in a safe phased rollout of version 23h2 to those older versions of windows 11 so just giving you a heads up um make a plan to upgrade to 23h2 obviously this means that um you'll upgrade to 23h2 if you haven't got any safe guard holds or compatibility holds on your machine. Um, it's uh, the way I understand it, this machine learning um, will pick up if you have a compatibility hold or a safeguard hold. And obviously, if you do, then it may take a little bit longer. But nonetheless, putting it out there, time to make a plan. Those older versions of Windows 11 now will be force upgraded to 23H2 as we approach October of this year, 2024. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.